Gentlemen, welcome back. The next project is in. Uh, today we have a, well this series is semi-sponsored uh, by Old Arms of Idaho. They are a uh, parts distributor. Uh, they're a company that buys up estate uh, sales and uh, gunsmith uh, stockpiles and things like that and then sell the parts out. Um, and they've asked that I uh, asked if I wanted to do a series rebuilding something, so I said, hell yeah, let's do it. Uh, so they sent over this. This is a Remington Model 11 tournament grade gun. Um, it's a American-made Browning Auto 5, basically, uh, before the Auto 5 came into the U.S. We'll talk a little bit about history, but this is what we're working on this series. Um, I'm going to give you guys an overview of this particular shotgun, and then we're going to... I got a couple questions. I want to see how far you guys want me to take this, how far down the rabbit hole we're going to go. So let's get into it. I'll get a little closer. I'll show you what we're looking at, what we're working with. And um, thanks again to Old Arms of Idaho. This is... It, it's nice to have like-minded folks sending projects over so we can make content, you know, keep, keep things flowing for you guys. So let me get a little closer and show you what we're looking at. All right, so here's what you get with a tournament grade back back then. <clears throat> I also should mention the serial number to this one dates it to around 1911. Um, with a tournament grade, you got this really, really nice uh, engraving. Very nice like floral pattern engraving that was put on it. Um, this one here, you guys can't see it, it's off camera, but this one's a full choke. And it's worn, you can see most of the bluing is gone on it, so the first thing we're going to do is take it down and clean it. Uh, we're going to do a rust conversion just to make sure there's no rust on it. And then we're going to bring it all the way back up through a rust blue. I'm going to do a rust blue on this whole gun and we're going to make it shine again so it looks great. Um, that's my intention. Now, how far you guys want me to go? I'll show you the process that I'm going to use. We're probably going to end up, last time I did uh, boiling, uh, I'm 50-50. We might uh, I'm not sure if I want to boil this one or if I'm going to end up steaming it. Um, let me know. I can show you guys either process. We'll go through that. Um, we're also probably going to niter blue. All of these old screw heads need to be tapped back in. You see they have raised metal. I think I'm going to do a little bit more research, but I believe that the screws and some of these other finer pieces were niter blued. Uh, which gives them that really poppy, poppy, shiny, bright blue. So I think we're gonna do a niter blue on all the screws, and I can show you how to do that at home, really very simply here in the US. We'll cover that, we'll cover a rust blue. I need y'all's opinion, because the wood furniture, oh, was, was butchered by somebody. Yeah, unfortunately, somebody in their life decided that they wanted to learn to checker, and they did it on their grandpa's <laughs> really nice tournament grade shotgun. So uh, the checkering, the pattern is terrible. It's, it looks like it was done with a, a wh whittling knife. So we can, I, I have checkering tools here. We can clean this up and, and redo the lines, like deepen those lines and make it look good. Um, we can always go and buy new furniture if you guys think that that's the net best option is picking up some different furniture. Or we leave it as it is and say, you know, it, it, it doesn't feel bad. It, it actually is, is textured nicely and it feels good in the hand. It just looks bad. But let me know what you guys think we should do with the wood. Should I go, oh man, it's, so, it's such a shame because you can see to get wood to look all oily and used like this takes a hundred years of, of using your shotgun. So it's a shame that they went and did this to it. So let me know what you guys think we should do there. Um... Beyond that, let's move on back. Well, beyond that, it's actually in very good shape. Mechanically, everything is here. Um, you can see, well, let me go back a little bit. You can also see they tried checkering the uh, pistol, the semi-pistol grip. And it it functions, it just doesn't look great. Uh, my, my, I'm wondering, should we leave it, restain it, and make sure it, you know, it has character, leave the character there? Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Okay. Last thing, you know, we're going to do, again, we're going to, there's raised metal here from when people took this apart in the past. We'll niter blue, we'll rust blue the whole thing, we'll rust blue the end cap. Um, take it apart and clean it because I'm sure it's filthy. It probably has never been cleaned or has been cleaned in the last 40 years. But this is our project. Um, seriously, huge shout out to Old Arms of Idaho. If you're looking for parts and you can't find it anywhere else, check on them. 
Um, and you know, what I've learned in the past with dealing with them, because I actually fixed up a um, Colt uh, 1849 pocket hammerless. Uh, you can see it on my Instagram. I haven't done a video yet, but I, only, I will do eventually. I fixed up an original Colt pocket hammerless. I couldn't find parts anywhere, and I ended up calling them and saying, hey, I'm looking for these particular parts. They went digging through some boxes, found exactly what I needed, and sent them my way. And they, you know, old, old guns, old black powder needs to be hand fitted. With a little hand fitting, I got it to work perfectly. So, if you are looking for parts for your old guns, seriously, reach out to them, send them an email, give them a call, something like that, and uh, see if they got what you need. But yeah, here's our project. This is what we're doing next. We're gonna work on rust bluing, metal refinishing. Uh, we're gonna make those screws pop again. Uh, niter bluing, and maybe some woodwork. You guys tell me what you wanna see, how far in I need to go, and we're gonna do it. All right, gentlemen. Uh, no video on Monday because this is going up today on Friday. Um, we're going to start cutting this thing down, building it out, making it look pretty. That's about it. Uh, you guys have a good weekend, and I'll see you when we get this thing started, maybe the Monday following this one. So, All right, catch you guys later.